Hello again. This time I'm going to have a look at another theme. I'm going to jump straight into an example clue, see if you can spot the theme before we get there. Solid Blue Island, eight letters. Solid Blue Island. That's all you've got to work with. You've got three words, no obvious functionality, definition has to be at one end. So the only thing you can be sure of is that this word is probably going to be, <laughs> probably, the only thing you can probably be sure of is that this word is going to be substituted. So you have to just start running through our words for blue, things that might be doing, and then see if you can really attach either of these to that word. Island, there are some obvious substitutions for. You've got I, you've got IS, all sorts of things from map notation, but you've also got names of islands. So you could be working there. Solid, you've got a lot of possible synonyms for that. So there's not really a clear way to play it except to focus on this word. And this is where the theme comes in, because you'd be forgiven for looking for a variety of words for blue, shades of blue, or thinking about sad, which is a very, very possible piece of substitution for blue. It could be sad, it could be cyan, it could be shades, it could be other synonyms. But in this particular instance, you're drawing on the world of politics. The conservatives are blue. They are blues, so blue can be con. Now, this is not the only thing that can be con, as we'll see, but I'll go through this clue and then we'll talk about some other stuff. So now you know you've got con, and it's an awfully good, it's very useful to setters because you've got the start of a lot of words there, so blue for con, really handy. Con also possibly substituted by trick, as in con artist, stuff like that, so it's not always this simple, but blue for con, quite common, you'll see it a lot. So then you're thinking, Islands that start with C-O-N, less likely than words for solid that start with C-O-N. Of course, you're just going to run through a list of islands till you get to Crete. Concrete, solid, as in a solid reason to do something. You know, there's always the definitions can be slightly sort of figurative as well. So that's how that clue works. Blue is con because of politics. And the other things that come out of politics, so blue is con, but it could also be... Blue could be Tory, um, it could be, I can't remember which way around they are in America, D-E-M, Democrats, they are blue aren't they, Republicans are reds. So you've got blue, con, Tory, Democrats, you've got reds, red could be lab, labor, L-A-B, rep from the Republicans in the states, it can also be a communism reference and you'll see it the other way around you'll see communist a lot and you'll see red as a communist you know the, the reds as they were always known sort of in old movies and in the political discussions of the era you've got that um, another one for red is trot for as, a, as in trotskyite you'll see you'll see that now and again so red and blue should be trigger words you start looking for those start looking for Potentially, as I said, there are lots of substitutions for red and blue, but one sphere that they may come from is this world of politics. So you've got Labour, you've got Tory, you've got Democrats, you've got Republic, uh, Republicans. Uh, there's also Lib, and if you go back far enough, the Whigs, who I believe were a sort of um, splinter of the Liberal Party back in the day. That's more likely to be a sounds like, because you can see how WIG might be quite useful now and again. You can substitute those two. But all of these, also very important to remember, they're all members, they can be members of parliament. So you could have member. And obviously that can substitute for a word like arm because limbs or members, that's quite an archaic expression. But you can also be member of parliament. So you could be member and the substitution could then be still Tory, Lab, Lib. It could be MP, you'll see an awful lot. Member, this could be indicated by one who campaigns and, and the substitution will then be MP. So you get all those words, one who campaigns, and it will condense down into two letters in the answer. So member can do that as well. You've got all of these. The only other one really worth noting is um, vote. Vote can often substitute in an answer for the letter X because you put a cross in the box. So that is a real leap now and again. It's not a synonym, it's 
God knows what it is. It, it, the X is a representation of your vote. So that is a perfectly valid piece of substitution in crosswords. And the last one, probably the most annoying if you ever get stuck on a clue with it. Let's have that up there. It is historical, historical political reference. C-H-E, Che, as in Che Guevara. You'll see this a lot indicated by the word revolutionary. Now revolutionary can mean turn something around. You take a piece of the clue, you turn it around, it is revolutionary, and you stick it in the outer backwards. Or you take a piece of substitution, stick it in backwards. But revolutionary can also be the three letters C, H, and E because of Che Guevara, which, if you're supposed to make that logical leap without being told it, I don't know how. So that, I would say, concludes the sort of political spectrum. You've got the two major parties, generally just British and American, Lib, Dem, Lab, Tory, Rep. You've got Vote, you've got MP that you'll see an awful lot. That's very useful. And they can all come from member or campaigner or elected one, stuff like that. So just be aware that when you see these colours or words like this, you might be looking for a political reference. So... Good luck with that and happy solving.